well, this is kind of important. If you have a city credit card and you're trying to actually uh, use it for as a personal loan, there is an interesting product for you, and it's called the City Flex Loan. So in today's conversation, I want to do a City Flex Loan walkthrough. How do you get a loan from your city credit card's limit with no application, credit inquiry, or origination fee? I want you to stick around till the end of today's conversation. Welcome, my folks, to another edition of the Awesome Sweetie Kiwi Show. How are you today? I hope you are doing fantastic. I'm doing marvelous, if you ought to ask me. If you are doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka and let's roll. <laughs> In today's conversation, I want to talk to you about a very unique product from Citibank, and that's called the City Flex Loan. And this is in today's conversation, I want to do a City Flex Loan walkthrough. How do you get a loan from your city credit card's limit with no application? credit inquiry or origination fee let me give you an overview so what are we talking about here so the city flex loan is basically an arrangement that allows you to target a large purchase on your credit card and pay it off over a set period of time with fixed payments and a fixed interest rate okay this is kind of similar to getting a personal loan from a bank but less hassle so it allows you to borrow money from your existing city credit card account that the credit limit on that account and pay it back at a fixed interest rates and usually it happens in fixed monthly payments over a set period of time this is kind of similar to a car payment and the minimum loan here is five hundred dollars and the maximum varies based on your available credit limit and basically a city says it also depends on your credit worthiness and other factors okay so this is what i, I want you to think about it so a city flex loan is a cash advance without a hefty cash advance fee an annual percentage rate okay so this is this is what it is so there is no application form to complete there is no credit inquiry there are no loan origination fees the monthly payment is fixed over the life of the loan and the borrower chooses the loan repayment length up to five years 60 months okay and the APR also is fixed so even if the credit card's interest rate fluctuates the flex loan APR remains the same so this is really good okay so one thing I want, I want to say, I want, the takeaway from you here is that city credit cards are great if you want to, uh, you know, let's say pay for everyday purchases. But there are situations where you may prefer cash, right? And you are trying to actually pay for a specific purchase over time. So cash advances here, you're not paying the 23% or the 30% AP, cash advance APR. With the this, with this city flex loan, you are paying a fixed interest rate. So City Flex loan or types of City Flex plans, along with City Flex pay, okay. And I will talk about the City Flex plan later on. But the thing is that it is important to understand that the City Flex loan is a cash advance loan that you pay over time. The City Flex pay is a flexible payment plan for City card members that allows eligible credit card purchases to be paid off over time with a fixed APR. So both City Flex loans and City Flex pay are options available when you create a City Flex plan. City's program offering cardholders more flexible payment options and fixed terms. So now that you have understood what we are we, we are talking about, let's talk about the pros and cons of this uh, this product. So what are the pros? So the City Flex loan is cheaper than a cash advance when you think about it. The APR is low. There are no penalties here, okay? There's no separate application, no separate bank to deal with, and no separate payment to make. Because when you think about it, monthly repayments are added to your card's minimum payment due. There's no separate credit bureau check, so there's no hard pull. There are no additional fees other than the usual ones from your credit card, like a late payment fee. There's no fee for paying off the balance early, okay? So this is kind of cool because you don't have to apply for more credit. Thus, there will be no hard inquiry on your credit report. So this is really important. And one thing you need to understand and that we love with this loan is that the, the loan don't come with any fees, including the pricey origination fees some personal loans charge. 
and you may qualify for a reasonable APR that helps you save money over time. Okay, and this is this is kind of cool. And what this what is good also is that you are already you are already in the city system and approved for a line of credit, so you you don't have to go through a lengthy process or fill out a loan application form to get started. This is just fantastic. And there are no hidden fees, including no prepayment penalties. So that's for the pros. Let's sort of look at the cons here because, you know, nothing is perfect in this in, on this earth. So there are drawbacks to the City Flex loan. So what are the cons? This product may not be cheaper than a personal loan or using a 0% balance transfer offer. And payments are ineligible to earn rewards points, cashback, or miles if that's something that you care about. So taking the loan increases your credit utilization rate. How much of your limits is used, right? As, as you can really understand, the CUR, your credit utilization rate, actually plays an important role in your FACO score. And most financial experts recommend keeping your total utilization below 30%. We, on this show, we recommend 25%. Okay, and the thing here is that if you are already taking advantage of a 0% balance transfer offer with a city card account, you must first pay off the city flex plan balance in full, then pay your, your balance transfer in full to avoid interest after the 0% promotional offer period expires. So this is something you need to think about. So, you know, this is what it is. And uh, again, I said this before, if you love cashback, if you love, re if you love rewards, if you love credit card rewards or travel rewards, you're not getting that on City Flex loans, okay? And City Flex loan may come with a higher interest rate than you could get with the personal loan, depending on your credit worthiness. Very important. And also, you must be targeted with for a City Flex loan to apply, meaning they're not available to everyone, okay? Very important. Speaking of targeting, let's just talk about the process here. How does everything work? So how does a city flex loan work, really? So a city flex loan lets eligible city card members convert part of their credit card accounts limit into a personal loan. I've said this before. So you can pay off, you can pay your loan off in fixed monthly payments with both a fixed interest rate and schedule up to 60 months so you know exactly when you'll be free of debt. And you can even customize those terms during the loan process. Okay, and uh, it's really important to understand that a city flex loan, the minimum is $500 and the maximum depends on your credit limit, on your income and additional factors that apply when you request a loan. For example, the size of your household, your um, your uh, DTI, your debt to income ratio, your CUR also are really important. Okay, so how payments are applied to a city flex loan? Well, monthly city flex loan payments are added to a card holder's minimum monthly card payment so there is no second payment to worry about so if a cardholder makes a payment greater than, than uh, the minimum any amount over the minimum is applied to the outstanding balance with the highest interest rate so when you think about it this could be the card balance or the city flex loan balance okay so for instance if the city flex loan balance has a 9.99 percent apr and the card has a 21.99 percent apr any payment over the minimum will go towards the card balance instead of the flex loan balance. However, if the cardholder has a low APR, such as 0% balance transfer offer, any amount paid over the minimum monthly payment will be applied to the city flex loan balance instead of the 0% APR balance. This is really important, but it is what it is, okay? So one thing I wanna say here is that flex loans in general give you complete control over the loan process okay so this is what it is and remember a certain amount of your existing credit limits will be available for a flex loan you can then choose to customize the loan to fit your own needs okay and uh, so for you can use the cash for a lot of th a lot of things you can use it for a lump sum as a lump sum loan in other words you're able to get cash, the part of your cash part of your credit limits rather to uh, pay for something, or you can actually use the cash for uh, a specific purchase. So this is what it is. So let's say if you are, so the thing here is that you can use the flex loans to make an eligible purchase. For example, if you are purchasing computer equipment for $2,000, you may be able to use a flex loan to make the purchase at the register. So this will give you the ability to determine how quickly you wanna pay the purchase off. Totally up to you.
I want to talk to you about the credit impact. So this is a, this is an important element because a lot of folks are concerned about the impact on uh, on the credit score when it comes to the City Flex loan. So how does the City Flex loan affect your credit? Well, taking out a City Flex loan does have the potential to impact your credit score adversely, right? The loan increases your percentage of credit utilization. I just said that before. It also increases something called your amount owed, right? Which when you think about it, amount owed credit utilization ratio, all those accounts for 30% of your FICO score, 30%. So as I said before, you want to be below 30% and our recommendation is 25%. So while increasing your credit utilization can harm your score, the most important factor that makes up your FICO score is payment history, which actually accounts for 35%. That means that you can work on improving your credit score by making timely payments in full each month. As your credit utilization drops, your credit score may also improve, okay? And if you are, so how do you actually find out if you are eligible for the City Flex loan? Because I've said this before, according to City, cardholders can check to see if they are eligible for a City Flex loan by logging into their online City account. And City Flex loan offers may be presented on your account overview page, or you may be able to view available offers by selecting the services, credit card services option at the top of the page. Okay, so you can you can also call City Customer Service to ask if you are eligible for a City Flex loan. So this is like an invite-only sort of a sort of a credit product. You know, you can also ask for it. Okay, and so this is what it is. So to, so bottom line is, if you want to get it, you got to take action. You got to take action. There is no like uh, they're not going to send it to you. I mean, unless you have stellar credit or unless you fit the requirements, they're not going to send it to you. You got to check it out to see if you qualify. Think of it, think of it as a pre-qualification offer, a credit, a, a credit card pre-qualification offer. So you're going to have to take actions for it. OK, if they don't offer it to you, you pick up the phone and call the city. OK, but remember, you just make sure that you keep your, your, your credit score as high as possible. Make your monthly minimum payments, be in good terms with city. And one thing we have seen in our analysis is if you want to qualify for this uh, City Flex loan, the the stronger your relationship with City, the better. In other words, your banking relationship plays an important role based on our research on your ability to get invited into the City Flex loan program. Speaking about the, the City Flex loan program, let's talk about the target audience, okay? So it's very important to understand that the City Flex loan can work to your advantage in two ways, two important ways. First, it may offer a, low, a lower interest rate than your regular credit card APR. Let's say you have a, a City credit card and you probably have a 20% APR, okay? But if you, get a, if you get the Flex loan, because it is an installment loan, you might get like 12, 12% or 10% which when you think about it is huge because if you were to get, let's say you were to get a loan for $5,000, the 10% Delta, in other words, from 10% to 20%, that that Delta works in your, in your advantage big time. So that's what it is. The first option is it may offer a lower interest rate than your regular credit card APR. And the second option is that it will give you the ability to maintain at least part of your outstanding card balance as a fixed rate term loan. So when you think about it, the second advantage, the second advantage in our view, may be the biggest. Okay. So because when you actually maintain uh, your outstanding card balance as a fixed rate term loan, at least you have a clear idea of how much you have to pay every month. And this is kind of cool for your budget also. So this is what I really want you to. This is what I want you to remember. So when you have the city with the city flex loan, you have a fixed payment structure. OK, that's what it is. But it, it, the problem with that is that, you know, if you don't have the discipline to pay your balance in full, let's say your balance off in full each month, you may carry a balance forever. OK, but this is one one thing that uh, the City Flex loan is trying to prevent, because when you think about credit cards, as I said, it, that's the revolving nature of it. And a lot of folks lack the discipline to actually pay their balance off in full every month. With a flex loan, however, you can make a purchase and limit the term to as little as 12 months. So when you think about it, this will force you to pay off at least part of your balance on a fixed schedule instead of letting it roll forward for years. Okay. And the cool thing is that there are no origination fees or credit check. 
this is wonderful because when you think about it it's a uh, when we think about the origination fee already a lot of lenders typically charge an, an uh, origination fee of uh, between uh, let's say one percent and six percent of the loan amount okay so when you think about it with the city flex loan you, you don't have none of that so this is fantastic so if i take you if i give an example if you take a ten thousand dollar personal loan with a six percent origination fee you pay a full six hundred dollars for the fee instead of getting ten thousand dollars you will receive nine thousand four hundred okay this may be quite this may not be quite sufficient for what you're trying to do with the loan so those are things you think about i'll be right back right after this don't go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another session of the Awesome Sweaty Kiwi Show. We are still having a conversation today about the City Flex loan, and I'm just uh, walking you through this uh, fantastic product when you know how to use it. And here is here are some words of caution for you: the City Flex loan may not work for you in certain instances. Okay, it's really important to understand that there are some limitations you need to be aware of. So the loan size may be limited. So I've told you before, the minimum loan amount is $500. And the maximum loan amount is your credit limit unless the, the, the flex loan maximum has been set at a lower level by the bank. Because the bank will actually look at your income, they will look at your DTI, your debt to income ratio, they will look at your, they will do a soft pull to make sure that everything is fine on your end. Okay, so for instance, let's say you have a, a ten thousand dollar limit, they might set your uh, your flex loan maximum at at five thousand because of various reasons. Okay, and the interest rate matters the most. Though it may be lower than your regular city credit card rate, it may be higher than what you would pay for a typical personal loan, especially when you compare it to the top online personal loan available. I'm talking about, you know, payoff, or I'm talking about, you know, the, the other players out there. So you're probably going to pay less in interest if you just applied for a regular personal loan. Okay, and when you really think about it, another thing we don't like with the City Flex loan is that it's not really a reliable financing option. I mean, the Flex loan does not represent the extension of additional credit. So if your credit card limit is 10000 and you are offered a, a Flex loan provision, it will not increase the amount of the credit limit. So this just gives you the ability to categorize some of your outstanding balance as a fixed rate loan instead of a revolving debt. Okay, so be aware that the flex loan may be available on your account at any time then be withdrawn so city has not indicated that it will be a permanent feature on on uh, any account but rather instead they will make it available from time to time so when you really think about it that makes it more of a promotional offer than an, an ongoing benefit similar to the way credit card companies occasionally offer a temporary low rate on new purchases and balance transfers let me close to this conversation by giving you a few alternatives okay if you are currently interested in a city flex loan or you have been invited into the program there are some interesting uh, city flex loan alternatives to consider okay and personal loans for example are currently offered with fixed interest rates as low as 4.98 percent for those who qualify and you can also secure a fixed monthly payment and payoff date that will never change so it's easier to, to apply for personal loans online and you can get your money deposited into your account into your bank account within a similarly short time so that's one option okay so you have the personal loan the second option is you have uh, the HELOC because HELOCs that's home equity loans and home equity lines of credit can also work well if you have considerable home equity that you can borrow against so both offer competitive interest rates since you are using the value of your home as collateral and uh, they may let you borrow up to 85 percent of your total property value however home equity loans come with a fixed interest rate and fixed monthly payment similar to personal loans whereas HELOCs offer a lot of credit with a variable interest rate okay this is really important and uh, so finally do not do not forget to compare city flex loan terms 
to those you get with a 0% APR credit card. Because if you need to make a large purchase and uh, you want to pay it down over time, for example, many credit cards offer 0% APR on purchases for a limited time. And some even let you earn rewards as you spend. Okay, but the city uh, flex loan does not do that. So when you compare alternatives, think about credit card terms. Think about the APR rather. You want to think about the rewards. You want to think about the terms, the maturity of the loan and the loan tenor. Okay, personal loans. You have also have the city flex plan. So uh, one thing I want to say here is that the city flex plan is a credit card feature available to some city card holders that provides flexible repayment terms and, and fixed payment options. So City Flex, Play, uh, City Flex Pay allows cardholders to make fixed monthly payments on eligible purchases. And the, the thing is that the purchases have to, be have to be validated. Okay, this is really important. So overall, those are the alternatives you, you have when it comes to uh, the City Flex loan. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. In today's conversation, I was talking to you about a city flex loan. So just think about it this way. A city flex loan gives you the ability to access your credit limits under more controlled circumstances. So if you have a major purchase or a need for funds on a short term basis, you can access the flex loan portion of your credit limits and pay it off in as little as 12 months. Okay. In most cases, the interest rates on the flex loan should also be lower than your regular credit card rate. Okay, so in that way, it will function as a limited use feature in very specific situations. So this is what it is. So in today's conversation, I gave you an, the overview. I talked about the pros and cons, the process, the credit impact, the target audience. I give you a cautionary words here and I also presented to you the alternatives that you have. Thank you so much for your attention. I really appreciate it. God bless you. I'll see you next time. But until then, remember, stay marvelous.